If you're watching this video, then you probably didn't make any money off of the Bitcoin boom. Why is that? Because you clicked on a video of some random young guy telling you that you need to stop waiting. Somehow you clicked on this video and you made the right decision. Don't get me wrong. But the reason why you clicked on this video in the first place is because you're not successful. And with that, you have been waiting a lot. Now, what do I mean by waiting? I mean, procrastination as a whole. So this umbrella term where basically you push off and you keep pushing off a certain task until it's the very last smidgen of time that you have, or it's just too late. So let's give you an example. Basically, a huge example that most people can relate to is in school. If you're out of school, then just listen to me real quick, because this example that will definitely help with your understanding. So you keep pushing it off, you keep pushing it off, and you keep sacrificing your future self for your present self. Now, obviously, I could go into what the bad effects of sacrificing your future self for your present self, but not being able to procrastinate is an incredibly powerful skill. I went up to a guy in class one day, and he, we were talking about procrastination. I don't know how we jumped upon this subject, but he told me procrastination, his dad told him, procrastination is actually good because it teaches you how to get things done in a short period of time. Contradictory in of itself, but yeah, I think that you can, um, you can probably debate that one and easily win in your mind because that argument is an incredibly horrible one because if you have the correct mindset, then you will understand that the non-procrastinator will actually give, get it done way before the procrastinator ever even starts. You understand what the detriments of procrastination are, so why haven't you actually stopped procrastinating? Because I know that you're still watching this video because you still procrastinate. And I'm proud of you for still watching this video because procrastinators usually have a very short attention span. So I'm very proud of you for that. This video is not like any of the other videos that you've probably ever watched in your lifetime. So what procrastinators do is that they always push things back, right? So I'm going to buy this necklace a month from now. I'm not going to scroll on Amazon now. It can be a very small action like that, but it can also be something bigger. Like I'm going to start that business in a month. I'm going to start NoFap in a month. I saw a comment on one of my videos and it was like, I really want to get into fapping. <laughs> I really want to get into NoFap, but I'm just going to wait until no no November. So wish me luck guys. And I already know that he's not going to be successful in that because he's already a procrastinator. Procrastinators are simply weak minded. Okay, so I've told you all about why procrastination is wrong, right? But I also would like to tell you how to get out of the procrastination trap. Don't ask we're out of tissues. I got to blow my nose in a toilet paper roll. All right, allergies. So the way that you finally defeat procrastination is by understanding first how significant your goal is to you. So now many of you might think, oh, this is motivation and motivation isn't forever, man. You got to do discipline. Well, it sure is way nicer if you're motivated, right? Because that makes the task way easier to do. And it also increases the efficiency that you're going to complete that task. And you're also going to complete it way quicker and you will not be pro pro procrastinating whatsoever, especially for the weak minded. Understand the significance of your goal. So basically write out your goal. It's pretty obvious. You've heard all these people here talk about it. They're like, oh, you got to write out your goal this way. Oh, use the smart method. You don't need to do that. Okay, just write down your goal and set a deadline. It's not that difficult. I'm never going to make a video on properly setting goals because it really doesn't contribute to you. So you need to check that goal and you need to understand how significant it is. Now, if you're, you've got $1,000 a month on your goal, then you need to understand the benefits of that. So what are the benefits? You help out your family, you help out yourself, you pull up to school in a Lambo, 1k a month won't pay for that. But just just contemplate all the benefits that you will 
achieve and all the negative things that you will remove from your life after completing that goal. So now you've got the motivation, congratulations. The next thing that I would do is writing a list of motivators. So what is a list of motivators? Because you've heard all these people online or all these motivational talks saying, oh, yep, motivation, 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 and motivation doesn't last forever. But, and uh, then you've got all these people saying, oh, discipline, discipline, discipline. This one doesn't last forever. Unless you're an absolute superhuman like David Goggins. Honestly, I would say that I have an incredible amount of discipline, but it truly is a muscle, right? You can't just stop fapping all of a sudden. Discipline is truly a muscle that needs to be worked. And the best way to begin working that muscle, since I know that you are a procrastinator, is by using the list that I'm about to share with you. Basically, you're going to create a list of motivators. The top will explain the bad list of motivators. So basically, the things that you hate or the things that you want to get rid of. For example, all these people making fun of me, so their exact names be super specific. Or, I want to stop being in poverty. Things that you want to run away from. And then you're going to create a list of positive things. So, for example, that could be, I want to become a philanthropist. I want to partake in this charity. I want to pull up to school in a pink Lamborghini, things like that. So now that we've got your motivation, I don't know why I have this in my hand. Now that we've got your motivation, what do you think is next? <laughs> First time I've ever chewed gum in the video, it's probably pissing you off. Well, it's simply taking action because at some point you're going to have to realize that none of these YouTubers are going to dig you out of your hole and they're actually not going to do anything for you. And all that they're going to do is that they're going to give you that short term burst of mental masturbation where you're jerking your brain off thinking that you're productive, but you're actually not. So at one point, you're going to have to stop being a little bitch and to actually take action. Like, Seriously, 90% of people won't make the motivation list and they won't do anything that I say in this video. But for those of you who actually do, I believe in you and you actually can defeat procrastination because guess what? You just made the first step and that one step puts you ahead of 99% of people watching this video. Now listen up for you select few. I'm talking to you. Seriously. You can't beat this, fuck oh, damn it, bro. This completely ruined my light. Ah, right, there we go. Oh, ah, right, there we go. Okay, so the only people who are still watching this video, especially after me having some technical difficulties, are the people who have incredible intention span and quite honestly are far ahead of all the losers who clicked off in the first eight minutes of this video. So for that, I would just like to thank you for you giving me your time. And if you like this video, my channel name is him, not because I'm him, but because we're all striving to be him, right? And hope I can help you on that journey just as I did today. So if you like that message, then do subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.